Hi, I didn't see you walk up. I'm just going over the plan. Hi, I'm Steve. I'm Haley. And we are turn right here. Left. If this is your first video with us. Welcome. Welcome. Um, we only have two other ones for you. If, you, <laughs> if you've seen the first two, welcome back. You're a glutton for punishment. Um, Explore the vast archives. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> a whole library. <laughs> um, today we're going to talk about uh, this Airstream and what it's like inside and what our plans are for it. Right? The plan. The plan. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. Um, it was put together by a guy named Wally Byam, who was the founder of Airstream and pretty much the, the main man. It's the granddaddy of all Airstream. That's true. Wally Byam Caravan Club International. There you go. Yeah, that's a mouthful. If you look up on top of the Airstream, there's a sticker right up there. That's an old Wally Byam Caravan Club sticker, and I can't really tell from this angle, but this used to have the big red numbers on it. Okay, so we're going to meet Steve in his planning and design studio. It's lavish, lavish studio. I have this old uh, flash from Airstream that tells us all about the safari. Talks about the distinguishing feature of the safari is a giant panorama window, 15 square feet of light and air through which you can see the world go by. This is the original floor plan for the safari trailer. Here's the front of the trailer with the hitch. Here's our, our door, where when you come into the trailer, you immediately see right in front the die dance set. In the front left corner is the kitchen with the refrigerator, under counter refrigerator, the sink, and the range. In the front right corner is the bathroom. It looks small on the drawing, and trust me, it is very small <laughs> in real life. Um, so the trailer is actually designed to be open and very airy all the way through to the back window. So you can see when you're driving in, in your tow vehicle all the way through to the back. We have a large 10 foot bank of windows on the street side. In the back of the trailer, we have two twin beds with a little cabinet in between the beds for storage and a nightstand. We have a small cabinet dresser um, at the foot of one bed and at the foot of the other bed, we have the wardrobe, which is a two door cupboard cabinet closet with a tiny little closet next to it with that originally would house the heating furnace. That is pretty much it. You can see now from the drawings, we have like these little cutaway drawings. You can kind of get an idea of what the trailer would look like in real life. The other side looked like that. Right here. Cool. Okay. So that is what the trailer looked like when it was brand new back in 1956. But. Well, when we bought the trailer, we were originally planning to restore the trailer to its original floor plan, original usage, original fixtures. We were what you would call purists. And in the sense of being purists, we wanted everything to be exactly the way it was in 1956. Now, since then, we have evolved in our design ideas, our assessment of how we live our everyday life, and usability as we get older is kind of a key factor. And it's different than what it was way back then. Yes. So I think some of the major things that we're changing is that we're gonna 99 the dinette. 86. Oh, 86. <laughs> 99, that was like on Get Smart. Well, that okay, mean? that's even better. This is 99 calling 86. We're gonna 86. The dinette. So um, we are going to get rid of the dinette, but we're going to put a, a convertible sofa there. So we find that we're people who don't really sit at the kitchen table much. We don't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> didn't last long. <laughs> it's heavy, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it totally is. Heavy, right. like I don't know. No, I'll, this is fine. Okay. Um, so we're going to use the couch there because we like to come in and plop down on the couch and relax. We like to. It's just what we like to do. Besides, we'll offset the idea of twin beds in the back. 
So the couch is going away. Also, we're gonna make a small change in the kitchen, right? And it's a front kitchen, which is an unusual floor plan for, for Airstream. Boy, my arm's getting tired. Does this thing float? I think it might. Ooh, hey, you cool. Think? It used to be a little higher. A little higher. It's magic. Higher. Yeah, about there. Cool. All right. Oh, I didn't think of that before. It's good. Put the float mode on. Yeah, float mode. So we're going to talk about the undercounter refrigerator. Um, so if you've ever used like a dorm fridge, those undercounter refrigerators, you know they're, they're pretty small. They don't hold much, right? Right. No, they're low to the ground. They hold maybe a half a case of water. And if we are going to be spending any kind of time in this Airstream, uh, we need to have a little more space to put our food supplies. Right. Well, for the size of trailer that yeah. our safari is, we have a huge closet. Yeah, it's it's a two-door closet. Yeah, it's probably, I don't know the dimensions, it's probably three or four feet wide. It's, it's quite a lot. We don't need that much hanging space for our clothes. So let's chop that in half and we'll put a tall refrigerator there. And where the old refrigerator was, after we 99 it, <laughs> after we 86 it, um, <laughs> after we get rid of the old refrigerator, I <laughs> Um, we're going to put drawers there, or maybe a cabinet, I'm not sure, but it will become storage, which is awesome. More usable storage, I think, than what the other space would have been. And then on half of the closet space, it's going to become the space for a tall refrigerator. We're really excited. <laughs> well, I think that's it. You didn't talk about the oven or anything in the kitchen. Oh, we should have talked about that when we were in the yeah. kitchen. So, okay. Back in the kitchen, at the very front of the trailer. <laughs> We're gonna 99 the old oven. 86. Yes. Let's talk about the bathroom. The original design of the bathroom had the toilet facing so your knees would be in the kitchen. It's seriously that small. So we're going to reposition where the toilet will be in front of the window in the corner where the ceiling kind of goes down, slopes down, and gives us a little more room to possibly put in a little sink. But most importantly is that we are going to convert this into a wet bath with a handheld shower. Attachment. Yes. So that is the plan for the trailer. So next time, we are going to catch Steve in action with wheels, tires, and axle. So that's on the next punch list. It'll be hilarious. So the next one's <laughs> going to be coming from the ER. <laughs> How to with Steve. Right. At, okay. turn right here. Left. Because it's, it's big enough to do what you do in the bathroom. But, <laughs> I knew that was oh true. <laughs> it's big enough to do what you do in the bathroom. <laughs> oh. Family photo. Mm. That's a keeper. Yes. Okay, my arm's killing me. Ugh, float mode. <laughs>